Hey there, this is Justin Art24 again. This is a scale truck rig review. Uh, today we have a really neat Ford Bronco built by Brian. Hey Brian, how's it going? Good, and you? Oh, just great. Uh, so yeah, tell us a little bit, uh, a little bit about this truck. What is this exactly? This is a project I've had going for eight, almost nine years now. I've built it up a few times and never been happy with how it was looking. Finally kind of got set down with the products that I've found that would fit the build and be performance and detailed. And it's just finally something I finally got to put together and get out how I wanted it. Well, it turned out really good to... Uh... Uh, maybe another thing, it, the short wheelbase is probably kind of a challenge, I bet, right? That makes it really hard with the short wheelbase and also with the full interior. Uh, finding somewhere to put everything was the biggest issue I had with this build. Yeah, you take up one spot and you got to put something in there. and uh, More so, you're running a full interior too, so that probably adds to that as well, right? That was the biggest <laughs> issue, was trying to hide the motor, the transmission, and still get to drive both axles correctly and look good doing yeah, it yeah so what what chassis what axles uh what's kind of the uh, base setup platform on this this is kind of a hodgepodge it's an scx10 uh, strc short wheelbase chassis they produced many many years ago i ended up finding it through a local friend um and that was kind of the last that was the final piece that started the build um, was finding the correct chassis to build off of um, and then it was just piece after piece kind of started to line up finally. Uh, the axles are Vanquish VS410 origin axles, uh, the correct driver side offset differential. Uh, the width is pretty much perfect with the fenders being trimmed off a little. Uh, it, it all just started to fall together. Um, ended up going through a lot of different front motor mounts uh -huh. to find one that worked and fit under the hood. that compact to get the you servo get the nice there. compact yeah. size where i could fit the fit the servo uh ended up using a gcm uh front motor mount off the original scx10 uh which uses the ax10 transmission huh. and everything mounts up front and then it just runs power yeah it really allows you to get that full interior right it's the full interior yep. and the transfer case that comes with that kit is very nice low compact it's a one-to-one -one final drive so it just, it basically is there to just move the power to the axles underneath the interior. Pretty it's, robust teeth gears on that too. Yes, it's like, very, very robust, very stout, mm -hmm. um, packed full of cow grease, uh, utter butter just to keep it nice and dry mm -hmm. and waterproof. And it was a lot of, a lot of parts to finally yeah. get everything put together and fit. Nice. But it came out 100% what I wanted, which was the start of it. Well, you got a lot of metal work on here too. You got some sliders, some front and rear bumpers. You had a really nice cage up on top. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. The cage work was done by Philip Hep, oh. uh, Scale Ready. Uh, he did. I dropped a body off with him. We kind of went over a plan, and he turned out this this little sport style cage, a little two seater sport cage. Um, sits about three quarters of an inch lower than the stock plastic cage, so gave it a more proportionate uh -huh. size. Um, the sliders and bumpers were done by Aaron Scroob, um, GM Alfab. Uh -huh. uh, he, I took a picture of some one-to-one -one bumpers and sliders that were on a friend's truck, and he duplicated them almost to the T, and they just fit perfectly the bodies mounted through them yeah the gaps seem to be really nice and you know the i really like the front windshield or the front uh, uh metal work really yeah the little really... the angry eye mm -hmm. style the sport look kind of has that look and feel of a bronco you mm -hmm. know? It, had, it does it fits that 60s sport look of something you'd see flying down the dunes nice it came out awesome so do you have any type of uh, painful times building this? Is there like one section? Uh, <laughs> mostly, I know there's with the short wheelbase and I'll find all the parts. A short wheelbase wasn't too bad. Um, the biggest thing was, like I said, I've been working on it for eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. The biggest issue was finding the look and the style that I uh, wanted yeah. and finding the performance aspect. It had... Yeah, speaking of that, you got the nice kind of Bronco feel wheels too, right? Yes, those are CNC Customs. They are half inch wide. Hmm. Uh, full positive offset, loaded with locked up scale RC hardware, right. um, and the TJRC brake rotors just top the whole look of those off. It has that perfect, again, that 60s Dune Runner Bronco mm -hmm. style that you'd expect to see. Yeah, it's kind of one of those builds where you really take your time, finding the right parts, uh, all those details that kind of add on top of each other that really pulls the look off. You yeah, know? it was, again, one thing after another, it would accommodate one thing, and it just wasn't right, so I'd uh -huh. get rid of it and get something different, and uh, it just, 
everything fit exactly how I wanted it to on this last run. And we finally just, I just ran with it and got it running. Yeah. And it's driving. It's so much fun to have done now. Well, I think one of my favorite parts in you say is that, uh, you don't see a lot of this type no, of build. And that's kind of the fun part is building something you don't see every now and then or every, or every day. And it's something very unique. Uh, kind of like my Chevy, like it was such a pain to do the no doors and the interior on that, but I did it because like it's pain in the tush to redo and very unique kind of look. And you've kind of done the same thing here. It's that unique build that you don't see on the trail much. It's a body that you don't see often. There's only mm -hmm. a few builds that I've seen of these. Um, one of which was local Joey. Uh, he had a mangler body way back. He did a little bit longer stretch, uh, got a little bit more wheelbase out of it. But his build was honestly the first one that I saw with this body, and I knew I yeah. wanted to use that body. And I acquired this body a couple months after seeing his build in person, and it's been yeah. Joey's uh, done some a lot of cool builds, right? Yeah, I, he does some <laughs> awesome builds, and the detail that he had into his Mangler was was really what sold me on finding this body and using it. And it's kind of one of those bodies too, where it's you know not just a standard hard body. It has like the fender uh, trim on there is really detailed. Even there's like a little vent on the hood, hood scoop. The grill's pretty decent. Yeah. Grill um, needs a little work, but yeah. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, the headlights are a little large for my liking, um, but I hope to get full light kit on it. It will be repainted eventually. Um, a nice, a little bit nicer blue and finalized detail yeah, yeah. do all the detail work now what kind of electronics did you end up using in here i ended up using a brood or not sorry not a brood uh using a home servo uh vs their sv2 or 500 yeah. um their v2 version of the 500 and a puller 400 from holmes in a 16 turn as well as a br mini nice. um very very smooth mm -hmm. controllable setup and it has amazing top end too for for such a short raid oh cool well uh i think i'll probably wrap it up or a little long on the video here but uh hey thanks for showing off the truck congratulations on filled in one of those long builds that a lot of parts a lot of research a lot of searching ebay and asking members for parts and sound like you dealt with a, a couple different different fabricators and getting ideas and uh uh first of all i wanted to say thanks you know I'm a part of WARCRC, but you're also part of uh, another few groups around here that's really been pushing the community and a lot of positive as well. And uh, so thanks for making the community great here in Washington too, man. Always, it's always fun to get out and get with everybody yeah. and see the builds and just socialize. Yeah, for sure. Fun. Yeah, that's like the another part. We're actually just filming this during a coffee and crawl and uh, just kind of a dumb little event and people really like it and they're kind of just like the aspect of just kind of the it's connection with others. Out for what yeah. it was. <laughs> There's <laughs> some silly, you know, whatever. But, uh, well, cool. Well, thanks, Brian. appreciate it. And uh, maybe we'll do another one because I know you got a couple other builds. You have another couple sitting on the bench. Well, cool. Thanks again. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, catch us, catch me next time. Uh, we might have a few more videos coming out. So uh, take it easy and thanks for watching. All right, bye.